2021. Strikes again. Yo, what's going on with your YouTubes? I just kind of want to jump on this video real quick because this uh, a lot of people has been tagging me in on my IG and, and DM me about it. I saw it actually on Nice Kicks um, while I was like uh, coming home and I was picking up the kids and stuff like that. And I kind of looked more into it. It's about like, uh, well, let's just get into it. Apparently, there was a shooting at the Merrill Rose shoe palace over a sneaker raffle. The person that ended up did get shoot, got shot or something like that, he was trying to break up a fight between the employees and and I guess a customer or something. Maybe like it was, I'm not sure what is what shoe is it over or so on and so forth. I did hear that the Air Jordan 1 yellow pollens is coming a weekend. Um, some of the shipping delays happened and maybe he told the guy like, hey, um, there's no raffle or something. I don't know. And the guy maybe didn't believe him or something. I, that I don't know about, it's all allegedly at this point. The fight that broke out outside, and I guess between employees and then uh, one of the work uh, workers or something, I guess he saw it and he tried to break up the fight, and then of course the guy pulled a gun out and shot the guy. And it's, uh, first of all, I just wanna say it's condolence, rest in peace, uh, anyone that was part, that, you know, any victims that was part of it, and it, this, just, this just sucks. This was on Melrose at the shoe palace, which I have been there before. I was there like, I think I want to say like 2019 was the last time I was there I, I when I went to Melrose and I went to the store. Everybody there was really actually pretty nice, man. This was at the time when the Yeezy Lundmarks came out, I want to say, and they actually asked me if I wanted a pair because I had pairs in the back, but, um, or they had, extra, they had extra pairs and they said, asked if I wanted any. I was like, nah, I'm good, bro. Uh, this is at the time when sneakers wasn't as crazy as it is now, too. But yeah, condolence to, but condolence to all the family. Rest in peace to all the, the victims that was involved. Um, you know, it sucks that something like this happened, especially over sneakers. You know, like I've always said, man, guys, like listen, man, it is really not that deep and it's really not that serious. I, it's we're in a crazy, crazy time right now, especially with 2021. Like I absolutely kind of hate it the way how things are. You guys remember earlier this year how. A lot of employees were getting in fights with like some of the customers because you know either employees were holding things in the back or so on and so forth. It's things has been super ugly with sneakers, man. And like people was literally losing their lives over it, over sneakers. I'm also watching on the LA news that there's like a an employee fatal shooting while a breakup altercation over some shoe raffles. Uh, the person said that you know the victim he said that he walked to work, he lived in, in the area. Uh, he moved from Colorado. From Colorado, he was trying to pursue his career to become a musician, or so, you know, just like they say, he was a good person, nice person, you know. Um, but it just made, that's what it was. Like he was just a nice person. He's trying to break up the fight and just accidentally just kind of got in the middle of it, you know. And it kind of that's terrible. But but this, they say that the police said that the suspect actually fled the scene, and I guess he, they said that he is in a Toyota. <laughs> I get he was yeah he was in a he. He fled the scene in a Toyota Camry. So if that any, I don't, I don't think they, they're looking at surveillance cameras and stuff like that. Hopefully they catch them. If anyone have any information, call the LAP police. But hey, I just wanna jump on this video and I just wanna talk about, like I said, rest in peace to the all the victims, um, you know, family and, and the person that got shot. I think he did end up passing away at the hospital, which is very tragic and sucks. But I just wanna talk about the state of sneakers right now. Um, I absolutely hate it. I I hate the way how things are right now. Um, it's even though like I still love sneakers. Like I love sneakers. You know, like I love sneakers. Um, sneakers has been a big part of my life, and it's been a big part of my career. And I wouldn't be where I'm at today if it wasn't for sneakers. I wouldn't have met the you know some awesome people if it wasn't for sneakers. But definitely this year, last year, 2020 and 2021 has been all time the worst you know it's been bad as in like how it is to buy and cop sneakers nowadays because like it's so difficult to get w's it's so um taking l's after week after week after week after week i know people hasn't even got w's all year and even last year till even last year it's just over and over it's like like you just can't get anything that you want and of course that causes a lot of anger and frustration and a lot of times they put that on, you know, on social media and people get really angry and upset about, you know, like even me, like the people get mad at me. Whatever the state is, because like, you know, I am, like I said, I, I have a face on YouTube and a platform. So of course I get a lot of the, 
the butt of the whole, uh, you know, salty, I guess you want to say like saltiness or toxicness or just a lot of anger in the sneaker industry community um, with everything. There's a lot of thought to go around, guys. There's a lot of a thought to go around. I can just list it all. It could be, hey, some of it, if you guys want to think of it, some of my fault because I either I hype it up if I had that much power. Uh, a lot of people want to get upset about the resellers because they're getting all the pairs. Um, also, botting is just like, I've always put the emphasis on Nike alone because they actually have the full power to end this whole, like, Shenan it's craziness going on, you know, but I, I really don't think Nike even cares to be honest uh, Say what you want because like they have the power to actually either put out more product uh, Make sure all the releases is good to go because a lot of times earlier this year Like a lot of these releases shouldn't have heaven have happened because Either it was shipping delays or something like that and of course when you don't have that much pairs in stores or in stock You know, um People's gonna end up taking L's, and of course, people's gonna get upset about it, and people's gonna have to pay that full dollar, and of course, and then you know you get restocked, and it's just a whole thing. There's a lot of blame to go around, but it's just at the end of the day, I just want to say that I, it's a lot of hatred out there, and it's a lot of frustration, and I, I don't know what to really call this culture. I mean, people want to call this the cancer culture or whatever. I, I really call this the toxic culture. If you guys just want to read my comments down below, I mean. I'm, you can I probably have one of the worst ones in YouTube about it. So I'm just saying anything I'm just saying just like whenever I post anything There's always something going down, you know down the comments, you know got it it, it I just kind of I've been I just deal with it now You know, I've I've learned to get kind of numb to it when I see stuff like that. I do know Where it comes from Because a lot of people like I said a lot of people just get upset because they just can't get shoes nowadays and for this whole shooting that's going around or that shooting that happened in Melrose, I'm sure probably the person that shot him was just frustrated because he just wanted to get his shoes and which is stupid by the way like no one should ever shoot over some shoes that's first of all that's 100% ridiculous no one should shoot anyone for some shoes okay that's first of all it's really not that serious I've always think to tell you guys that like, sneakers is really not that serious guys like if you t end up taking L's um, you know, just move on, chalk it up, you know? Um, I get it easier said than done because people just want the shoe, but it's just, at the end of the day, it's not that serious to take someone's life or to go to jail for or kill someone for it. It never should be that serious, especially over sneakers, you know? But um, I just want to put my thought, my two cents in and just kind of talk about this whole ordeal. I, I, like I said, I just hate the way how things are, man. I hate the way how sneakers state this the state of sneakers right now I, I i really do um it gets frustrating but like i just think like hey just keep grinding keep p pushing forward eventually things should get better i feel like you know i've always tried to keep a positive vibe these releases i know you know whenever i go live or just make videos about it i i see the frustration but you know i just feel like things have to get better down the road or at least i hope so because I don't know man it, it sometimes it does take a toll it does but hey guys you guys everyone out there please stay safe I hope things get better um, I just I, we just need to do better guys we just kind of just need to do better because like right now it, it's uh, it's ugly out there it's ugly and I hate to see people get shot you know killed or shot or beat up or whatever the case is over some shoes you know it's just not that serious it's it should never be but hey it's been happening since the beginning of time we saw i saw it when i was a kid you know on the sports illustrated uh, magazine if you guys knew, anyone remember that people were getting shot over some sneakers like it's just really just crazy out there man and it like i said it should never ever be about that but hey and anyway, guys just want to just put this video out there the information out there guys um like i said just got everyone be safe be cool man Hopefully things get better, you know? That's only thing I can say. But hey, uh, if this is your first time here, I would appreciate if you guys hit that sub button. Uh, hit that thumbs up if you guys can. If it's your first time here, comment a hey, comment down below and just tell me what you guys' thoughts is, even just with the whole sneaker state too as well. But um, I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm out, guys. I'm Joe Man Chris. Peace out.